Did she fall asleep in front of the computer? What's going on? Oh, it's my phone. Lillian is calling. In a, it's midnight. And we have 30% battery. Well. This... <laughs>「Are you not in position of any time telling device? You sound groggy. Did I wake you up? Oh, it's a.m. I thought it's p.m. I... I'm lost in confusion, Ina. No, I'm normally awake at 12.20 in the morning. Okay, Grey Eye. That was sarcasm. <laughs> if she was asleep. Ow. It's hard to tell when you speak all monotone like that. Anyway, what is it? Right, I was too wound up to sleep, so I stayed up thinking. Thinking about what? I've got it. I came up with the perfect plan. Well, I'm a little bit scared to hear it, given how crazy you can get. The perfect plan for what? Are you going to be at the college tomorrow? Well, yes, I... Great, I'll tell you about it when I see you. Really? Really? Lillian, you just called to tell me that you have something very important to tell me, but so you will tell me that tomorrow. Like, you had to tell me. Like, I don't get this girl. I stirred my phone for a few moments trying to process what just happened. Lulan seemed really excited about something. Oh, so it was midnight. Oh. Oh, it was mid. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Oh god damn it. I I thought it's like twelve in the day. I just I'm not good with AMs and PMs. I mean I'm good with most of them but twelve is just confusing. I just because it's just confu <laughs> it's confusing to the brim. I'm not at midnight, yeah, okay, so that's, okay, that's all right. Okay. Moving forward. Actually, with her sense of time, I wouldn't have been surprised if people asked me about my breakfast. <laughs> the worst thing of, of my, the worst part of my love is that I... Like, Love like a retarded animal. And now you all have to hear it. That's the worst part. <coughs> College tomorrow. My answer was automatic. Yeah, I guess I was planning continuing my surveillance. Mr. Carl hasn't had our contract yet anyway. So did the job finish or not? Because now I'm confused. I guess I'll find out what the hubbub is about tomorrow. I guess we will. It's gonna be so interesting. Like, I'm now at the moment where I can't stop playing it, so I'll probably play it until I have to go to work now. Which is not healthy. Very well, I guess it's not that bad. Um, I was supposed to read a book today, but no. Inane perfections. Time for that. It's really pouring out there. Classes have let out, but I don't see Lillian. Rather, I can't see Lillian through this rain, despite having my windshield wipers on. I know her umbrella by now, so I could just stay on the lookout for that. It's not very hard to miss. What is it? Pink fall in like flowers or some other silly um, specific umbrella? It is pink! <laughs> One for Angie! 
knew it that's pink it's Lillian she somehow managed to get to the other side of the car umbrella no without me noticing I looked at the road hurry in. hurry up would you crazy out there uh, tossing the umbrella in the back so she turns to face me okay I don't have much time my car is waiting so I'll be quick okay there's this okay there's this place nearby that I want to show you real posh pick me up tomorrow at 7 p.m. from my house it's Saturday so no school well this is she holds up a hand where is something oh my god we are going on a date I'm way too excited about this but really it seems like we are or something fancy, a dress or something. It's going to be great. You're free, right? You're not doing anything tomorrow. No, not really. How about Sam? Have you been seeing Sam recently, Ina? Have you? Because I don't know, you're not telling me anymore. What about Sam? Is he alive even? I don't know. Cool, okay, see you then. Don't forget, at 7. It's fun like she decided it all, it all on her own and didn't even ask us if we want to. She's amazing. She grabs her umbrella and hurries out. Reaching her car, she turns back and waves at me. I raise my hand uncertainly in return. Well, she could have asked if I actually wanted to go. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. But that's all I have for you. A barrage of uncontainable energy. Tomorrow at 7 p.m., huh? I wonder what this is about. I guess I found out soon enough. I want to see Inna in the dress! I'm really curious how she will look! Upon a day time! <sighs> After a long workout, workout and a shower, I feel too tired to think. Which is the plan? <laughs> I'll just go to bed now and worry about tomorrow and tomorrow. Hmm, what time is it? Seven. Seven a.m. Oh, it's Saturday. Still some time to sleep. Seven. Oh wait, it's Saturday. Lillian had something planned for tonight. Time to get up then. Well, like, I mean, if you slept like for a few more hours, you were at 7 p.m., right? Come on. You don't have to get ready like over 10 hours earlier, do you? Yawning, I stretch and sit up on the bed. Having had my morning coffee, I slumped down in my seat to think. I need to formulate a plan of some sort. I don't know what sort of place Lillian is taking me, and even if I did, I doubt it would help. I don't have anything appropriate to wear for going, oh, we need to go shopping. She said I needed to wear a dress. I don't think I own even a single one. I have one dress. Right? No, I have two dresses. I kinda know the problem. But I, none of them are for a fancy though, like elegant fancy. I know your problem, Ina. We're similar in this. It's more lace now. I still have time. I just need to buy one. I better get a move on that. I'm curious what will you choose, Lina? Here I am again. Oh, you didn't show us the dress. It's a little after 7 p.m. and I just pull up in front of Lillian's house. I tram on the steering wheel as I wait. I'm wearing a red dress I picked out almost at random from the first store I visited. Red is nice. We're fitting for your first day with Lillian because it's a date. It's a mysterious hidden date. I take it as a date. Buying it was one of the hardest things I've done. 
I fell out of place the moment I entered the store. It didn't help when a chirpy employee zeroed in on me, following me around like a tail all the while firing of advice and suggestions. Oh, you look pretty. Oh, and you keep your hair up. You look so sweet. Amazing. I don't know anything about dresses. It's been a very long time since I wore one. I just hope it isn't too reveling. Nah, they never are, are they? The front door opens up. I hear some shouting. Oh my god. Come on, hurry up, she's here. What? I can just barely make out Lila's voice. Did she? Oh my god. Oh my god, did she actually made a like blind date with me? With someone? Oh my god, that would be so crazy. That would be really crazy. But why she was so flustered and trying to tell me something? I, I don't know, I'm lost at it. Bye, I'm going now with a friend. I'll be back. Or maybe not. Okay, someone. <laughs> Lillian emerges from the house wearing a blue dress. There's a woman, woman wearing an apron standing in the doorway. Probably a maid. I look the door as Lillian nears the car. Lillian gets in and takes a deep breath. Hello. Hey, how do I look? It's pretty dark. I can't see her properly. I did get a look at her dress when she was making her way to the car, though. Very good. That's a pretty dress. Mm hmm. She looks a little disappointed. Pity. It's so dark. I can't see you that well. All I can tell is that you're wearing something red. Well, let's get going. <laughs> 